All right, guys, so Shangalauban, as we say here in Iceland, our official greeting uh, means like a boss. So anyway, let's do a little advanced rescue now. Hopefully you've watched the previous videos which talk about a very basic rescue using two prussics, um, using an ATC and guide up here for the ratchet. And today we're going to step up with that and use the, um, the micro traction for the ratchet up here, micro traction to ascend as well. And we're going to use a T block. So we'll have a lot of options here. Now, for this situation, I have two screws already down. You wouldn't have those down, of course, during the rescue. Another thing that's different is I don't take the rope out. My rope is flaked in my bag, so I can easily pull it out of my bag, which you'll see in a moment. So a client goes into the crevasse. Before you approach the crevasse, is this a death crevasse? Is this something that if you trip, you're going to die? Put in a screw. Can you approach from the end where it closes out? Excellent, if you can do that, um, but keep yourself safe first. I know this crevasse is not that bad. I just looked in it recently. So I'm going to just peek over the edge. I see the client right there, arm issue, fell, broke his arm, vertical wall, not coming out. But before I go back, actually, I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to put it on the edge like so. I'm just going to walk back. My personal safety right there. That saves one step, right? Gonna have the anchor now here. Locker, non-locker. 120 sling, simple stuff. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just gonna measure this personal safety here. I like it right there. Pop the personal safety on. Pop this on there. What I'm going to do now is just make a simple focal point knot there. I'm going to grab a carabiner. I'm just going to do an overhand because I want to use the shelf. Simple stuff. Fall on right there. So I checked very quickly before I came back the direction of pull. Excellent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure this personal safety is tight and I'm going to put another carabiner in the shelf at this point. Okay, so I put that carabiner in the shelf. I'm just going to make a simple eight here. Figure eight. I'm going to put that in the shelf. Okay. I'm going to bring my personal anchor to me. So I can go to the edge. Another trick now, let's say your personal anchor is actually too long. What you can do is put a clove hitch in it and just reattach it to yourself without having to go back. So you can think about that. That's why I didn't go back and measure it. And now I have this rope. I'm just going to bring it down to the client out of my bag. Okay, as I come back, I'm going to be feeding slack out of my bag, like so. Next point, this is going to go into the focal point here. Like so. Now my bag gets dropped. Okay, drop in the bag right there. Cover the screws. Okay. So, before we go down, let's just take a moment to look at our system here. We have a personal safety, which is attached to the screw in a locker. And then the first thing we put in, what here we had something in the shelf. We had a carabiner in the shelf. We have a figure eight there. We went down, stacked out the rope to the client or the victim. And then we put another carabiner here up in the focal point. Okay, so that's where we're at right now. So, at this point, I'm going to repel off the focal. Now, when I repel off the focal, I'm going to do something similar to the previous rescues I've done before which is I'm just going to make a prussic, three wrap prussic here. I'm going to do one, two, three, and three wrap prussic. Remember wrap groom set, right? So I'm going to now groom it, get it nice and groomed here.
Don't forget me not. And this is going to serve as our three to one on the top. Okay. Now, there's going to be one difference to what we're doing right here. Okay, so typically with tied in, what I'm going to do now is just measure overhand knot. Measure again, carabiner. This allows you to be very fast coming up. You can just drop this, okay? There we go. Now what we're gonna go down on, let me switch carabiners actually. Need the HMS. We're gonna go down on a munter hitch, okay? So how we do that, we're just gonna make a simple munter hitch here. All right, so this is my setup now. Now what I would do, of course, while I was there, I've assessed the carabiners, made sure they're locked, did the click check while I was at the anchor. I'm not gonna go back and check right now. Um, also, I put on the Prusik here. Okay, measured. All right, good to go. And now as I go down, I'm gonna mine the Prusik on the way down as well as the Munter. And I also have this personal safety attached as well as you can see here. All right, now when I'm at the edge, what I'm gonna do is just drop, to drop my personal safety there quickly. So as soon as I get back up, I have it again. Okay. And now I'm minding the Prusik and I'm using the Munter to go down. So the first thing I'm going to do when I get down is put a clove hitch on. This is my backup here. I'm going to put this in right there. I'm attaching that via carabiner to myself. Okay. Now I'm not concerned about this munter hitch. I'm going to take that off and put a micro traction there in a moment. What I'm going to use now for the client, I'm going to use a wheel. I'm going to use a pulley. As we can see here, this is the very efficient pulley. So to do this, simply pulley on the rope, as we can see here, close the pulley through the two points on the client's harness. Now you're going to mule it as well, same stuff. I'm going to pull up. Now I'm going to reach over with my right hand, over both through, pull some slack, drop it, you can sit back a little bit, make sure it sets. Okay, and now I feel good about that. So check this out, quick transition. I have my micro traction here. At this point right here, I'm gonna take this off. Remember, clove hitch is still on, right? Carabiner's locked. Micro traction in. Okay, give that a test, feels good. I just give it a little pull up, there we go. Now I can actually detach this Prusik. Pull this down. Okay, now the cool thing about this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a leg loop here. I'm gonna make it a little lower. And I'm just gonna do a twist just like this. And now what that's gonna do is that's gonna cinch my foot so it's not gonna come off, as you can see. So now it's not going anywhere. And this is so simple, it's all I'm doing is, and I just check the victim. Notice I'm also not shock loading, I'm slowly letting it down, I'm not, going super fast up and just dropping my weight each time. Same for here, pushing off the wall, pulling, feeding slack. I can take my foot out now since I'm almost over the top. Okay, taking that out. Taking out the slack, 
taking out the slack, taking out the slack, personal anchor attached. Micro traction off the line. What I'm going to do now, take out the micro traction, open it up, look for the orientation, the weight goes to Hoika, the hand goes to me on the right side here, goes on the rope like so. Pop that down. Okay, so now I feel I feel it about to pop. Okay, there we go, there it popped. Okay, at this point, I come on down here, and we have a little twist in the line, which. Okay. If I want to, I could also take this off here to give myself more room. And now I'm just gonna haul. Very easy, much better compared to the first type of rescue we talked about in the previous video. Going to the edge, again, All right, stop there, just lean back a little bit. Okay, now, here's uh, what I recommend, just go to the edge. Now I could just do small micro pulls, just monitoring the edge with the client. Okay. Once it gets over, grab him by the harness there, bring him back. So that's the rescue. Whew. So, quick review, some things to consider. Number one, the benefit of using a micro traction or a PCD, like a roll and lock, is they can go on a tensioned rope. And this would be an example if you're doing a rescue where it's a single strand down and the client weights the rope, right? So I do like using the micro traction. It's also very efficient for ascending and very efficient as a ratchet here at the focal point. The downsides to consider, this can be a very dangerous device because of shock loading. Even a small shock load can tear the sheath on a used rope and a new rope especially as well, but a used rope the, the level of margin, the margin of error is much lower than it would be for a new rope. So many of us guides use very old ropes, so just be very cautious when using a micro traction. You want to constantly weight it, making sure you're checking if it's properly weighted. But beyond that, this is a pretty effective and fast haul system. The one thing you'll notice, we did have a twist here, and that's because at the top I just twisted one over. Not a big deal, but it's nice to have a clean system. We have a Prusik minding pulley here. We don't need that for the client if we're not putting a prusik there. So you can buy a very uh, much smaller one that is much easier to carry. This is because I have two of these. So, so that's the basic rescue. I hope you enjoy. And as we say here for every uh, post-event post bonanza, Shangalao Ban. <laughs>